The ICG653 universal cable gland consists of six key components. Entry with deluge boot, elastomeric clear compound pot, spigot, reversible armor clamping ring, middle nut with patented tightening guide, and back nut. This dual certified cable gland is designed for use with all types of elastomer and plastic insulated cables, including armored, braided, and unarmored cable types. The ICG653 Universal is especially suitable for cables that exhibit cold flow characteristics and are not effectively filled or have hygroscopic fillers. Assembly instructions are provided with Hawk cable glands or can be downloaded via the Hawk website. Allow sufficient length of cable to suit the equipment the cable is being terminated into. Strip the outer sheath and cut the armor to enable connection to the conductors to the terminal. Remove a further 20 mm of outer sheath for cable glands OS to A size, 25 mm for B to C2 size, and 32 mm for D to F size. Slide the back nut, middle nut, and armor clamping ring onto the cable. Ensure that the orientation of the reversible armor clamping ring is correct, with the arrowhead indicating the correct armor, braid, or tape pointing to the equipment. Always refer to the Hawk assembly instructions for guidance on the correct armor clamp ring orientation. Tip. Alternative rings may be required if the cable doesn't fall within the RAC's standard clamping range. Spread the armor or braid by gently pulling it away from the inner sheath of the cable. A screwdriver may be required for larger types of cables. Tip. If Hawk seal or QSP is being used, remove the rubber resin dam before installing the spigot component. Slide the spigot over the cable, taking care not to damage the rubber resin dam. Push the armor or braid up to the spigot shoulder, sliding the clamping ring up to the armor or braid by hand. Ensure the compound pot is removed from the assembly. Slide the entry over the cable. Slide the middle nut up to the entry and hand tighten. Support the cable to prevent it twisting. Grip the entry with a spanner or wrench. Use a second spanner or wrench to tighten half to three quarters of a turn. Unscrew the middle nut. The armor clamping ring should now be locked in place. Visually inspect that the armor or braid has been successfully clamped between the spigot and the armor clamp ring. If it isn't satisfactory, repeat the previous step. Strip the inner sheath back to between flush and 3 mm from the end of the spigot. Remove any fillers, plastic or coatings present in the cable. If required, prepare any drain wires or screens as per assembly instructions 2028. Fit the pot and check that the inner sheath is the height of the pot shoulder. Your assembly is now ready for compound. Follow our Hawk Seal compound or Express resin installation videos for step-by-step -step instructions. Express resin is Hawk's fast curing liquid pouring seal for use with Hawk barrier glands. Ensure gloves are worn throughout the filling process. They are supplied with the resin as standard. Snap off or unscrew the cartridge lid and fit the nozzle. Purge approximately 25 millimeters or one inch of resin onto a disposable surface to ensure that the resin is properly mixed. Ensure the gland is held vertically. With the nozzle starting as far down the pot as possible, fill the resin to approximately three millimeters under flush. This is indicated on the silicon pot by the fill line shown on screen. Check that the resin is properly filled without any voids. Manipulate the cable cores to ensure the resin has filled any voids between them. If air pockets are present, coax them out from the resin by manipulating the silicon pot. Tape the cores so they stand centrally to the pot. If the fill level drops below the minimum level, Top up the resin to the fill line. Place the entry over the silicon pot to ensure it is held in the correct position. Gland installation can now continue. 
Now the potting is complete, use a wrench to fit the entry into the enclosure. If required, fit the appropriate IP washer onto the entry thread. Depending on the enclosure used, the method of installation will vary. Slide the cable through the entry until the pot is seated in the entry. Hand tighten the middle nut to the entry and add a fifth to a quarter turn with a wrench. Tighten the back nut until the seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench or spanner to grip the middle nut. While preventing the middle nut turning, use a second wrench to apply one further full turn to the back nut. Use our patented middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position to suit cable diameter. Tip: A diameter scale is provided on our installation instructions to help with this process. Installation is complete.